Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gerald with Real Estate Investing Tips for Beginners. I got a special treat for you guys this morning, this, this, today. I have the foremost expert on tax lien and tax deed sales, Mr. Ted Thompson. Ted has been doing tax lien and tax deed investing since the 80s, guys. You guys are not going to believe this. He's going to blow your socks off. And Ted, how you doing this morning? Well, I'm just great. So good morning to you. I'm feeling good and I hope you are. I'm doing great, doing great. Listen, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start off. I got some questions here. I'm going to go ahead and ask you and uh, you being the expert. Here we go. So okay. Ted, question. You are in an unusual business that most people don't know about. And I'm sure that many people will believe the type of returns your student investors generate. Can you tell me about your audience and a little bit about this business? Okay, I sure will. Okay, so here's the deal. Tax liens and certificates and tax of all the properties have been around for 200 years, 200 years. All right, it's a simple business. Anybody can do it. So I'm gonna teach you a kind of a step-by-step -step process. So number one, someone didn't pay the tax. When someone doesn't pay the tax, the county has a problem. What does the county do? Well, the county pays the police, the fire department and all those things from that money. So the county said, look, you haven't paid your tax bill. So we're going to issue, in one case, half of the states, like you got a map behind you, that map behind you, half of those states sell tax lien certificate. The other half of the states, they actually sell the tax deeds. All right. So let's just talk about the deeds first. With a tax deed, that means they're going to sell that property. So what the county does is they say, all right, Ted Thomas, you didn't pay your tax. And if I didn't pay my tax, they're going to say, all right, if you don't get it paid by a certain day, they're actually going to confiscate the property. So they levy the tax, they try to collect the tax, and if they can't, they confiscate the property. Now, what are they going to do with that property? They don't want any more property. They already own the administration building, they own the roads, they own the stadiums. So what are they going to do? So they want to sell that. So what they do is they put it up for auction. There's over 5,000 auctions every year, 5,000. All right, those auctions, they sell the property. Listen to this, it's going to blow your mind. They sell the property for 60, 70, 80% discounts. In other words, they're gonna sell the property for the back taxes. The county was trying to collect money. They couldn't collect it. So they simply say, we're gonna sell it. So anybody can go to these auctions. You can go, I can go, anybody that we teach how to do it. So that's a business in 5,000 auctions. Every county in the United States sells tax to fall the property. Half of the counties sell tax lien certificate. Now tax lien certificates are nothing to slough off. In a tax lien certificate, I live here in Florida, my little studio in the back of the office now. In, in this state, there will be 1 million tax certificates available this year. 1 million every single year. Yeah, and those certificates pay 18%. So I go to that auction, I raise my hand like that. The auctioneer says, all right, what do you pay for that certificate? And I can get six, I can get 18% interest. Then I buy this certificate, that's all I do. So the point is, Every state does that. Now, it's 18% in Florida, Arizona 16, Iowa's, Iowa's 24, Illinois 36. They're a huge moneymaker. Anybody can make money in this business, and you can start out with less than a thousand bucks. Start with less than a thousand. That's right. Less than a thousand? Exactly. Some of the, the average tax lien certificate is less than $2,000 nationwide. You see, the wow. taxes on a house are only one or 2% of value. Now, if you're in Maryland, high tax state in New Jersey, the taxes are going to be two or three percent. But a two hundred thousand dollar house, which is the average house, tax is only three or four thousand bucks. So you can buy a tax certificate. You don't pay. You just buy buy the certificate and pay someone tax. All you do when you buy a tax is pay someone's taxes. If they don't come in and pay you, you get the house. So this is a powerful business. You can make a lot of money. People are shocked when they hear me. They're shocked. I've been doing this for thirty years. I haven't stopped. I was in the real estate business before. When I learned about this, man, I've never looked back. I've been doing tax liens and deeds. I go for it. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Now, question. Now, can you go ahead? Can you do this online? Yes, you can do it online. Now, we pioneered that about five years ago. And later on, before I finish this video today, I'm going to show you some video of people outside the United States buying inside the United States and do it all online. So anybody that wants to do it in the United States, I don't care. Now, you're up in that Atlanta area. I don't care where you are. You can buy tax lien certificates online and you can actually buy properties. I'm going to show you people that are my students that we teach. They're buying from 
from the Canadian provinces. They're buying from New Zealand. They're buying from Australia. They're buying from the UK. It doesn't matter where you are. If you can get an American bank account, you can do this. All you need is a USA bank account. Your question is this, because I, I always hear this from a lot of people that go ahead and they contact me, right? How complex, how complicated is tax lien and tax deed investing? Well, it's not complicated. And the surprising part of it, this was invented 200 years ago by the local legislature and the local county. And the people couldn't read and write. So it had to be a simple system. And all that happens at a tax auction is the county took a property that someone didn't pay the tax and they say, folks, go look at it. If you like what you see, we're going to sell it for 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. And we're going to wipe out the mortgage when we sell it. So you can buy these properties for 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar and the mortgage is canceled. Or if you're in a deed, deed of trust state, the trustee loan is canceled. The government doesn't mess around. If you don't pay your taxes, you know, they're going to come and slap your hand right now. And if you don't, so if, it's not a complicated business. Now, I'm not saying you're just going to go out the first day and get your six guns out and start making a whole bunch of money. You know, it's going to take a little while to learn it. You should study a little bit. You know, it's, a, it's not a complicated process, but I can tell you anybody that wants to do it can. I have clients that come to my, cl come to my classes, 92 years old, 92 that come to my class. I, I don't take younger people, not because I don't want them. It's because they don't have any money. See, young people don't have any money. It, my average client's 45 to 105. Wow. More women. 45 to 105? 45 to 105. Now, I qualify wow. for the 105. I'm the 105. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Question. I got, is the government really, do they, uh, do they really take someone's house away? Oh, no, 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 no. This is a. Uh, the tax lien states are very benevolent. I mean, listen to that word, benevolent. Here's what happens with a tax lien state. All right, the person didn't pay the tax. So the county, the treasurer, will send a notice and say, look, you haven't paid your pat. So if you don't pay your tax, we have to put you in default. So then they send, in, uh, send about three notices. Then they say, okay, well, you didn't pay your tax. So just stay in your property. Just stay there. Don't leave. Just stay there. But we're going to sell the tax. So a tax lien certificate is just a piece of paper. They're going to sell that at auction. I'll show you lists of these. A place like Miami, Florida, right. Miami-Dade will have 65,000 people didn't pay the tax. 65,000 certificates. All right, so, you, so they let the people stay in the house. So the people stay in the house. In Florida, you can stay there for two years. They're not throwing anybody out. But during that time, they expect, well, you know, if you had COVID or you, you had a job loss, go get a job and pay. You got to pay your tax. So if you don't pay your tax, then the county said, whoa, you haven't paid? Then they're going to take your house away. Two years. Now, Texas is not so benevolent. Texas only gives you 21 days. <laughs> so they're pretty, pretty fast. Yeah. On foreclosures, 21 days. Tax auction, six months in Texas. Yeah. But they don't throw people out. They want you to. See, the county doesn't want your house. They got enough property. What they want, people on the tax roll. They want taxes every year. You know, that's a continuity, right? You just keep getting taxed. They like nice. that because now they pay the government employees, pay the guy to fix the road, they pay the whatever, all, all, all the bills. You know, the county gives money to the hospital, county pays to the police and the fire department. What are you going to do if you don't have a police department? So all those bills the county has to pay, but they don't throw people out of those houses. No way. Okay. 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 Another question, another hot question coming from my customers is, can people really make, can my customers really make twenty five to 30000 a deal? So we can teach you how to buy junkers, turn them over and make five grand. That's not a business. I teach business people. My clients are 45 to 105. If they don't make 25 grand on the deal, they haven't done the right thing. So I'm going to show you before we finish, I'm going to show you people making not only 25, I'll show you people making on one deal up to $100,000. Now, everybody doesn't make that on the first couple of deals. Like this week, we were doing classes for a couple over in Wisconsin. And so they're buying in Michigan. On their first deal, they made $40,000 profit. The second one, they made $25,000 profit. We're in the business of teaching them how to buy it right at the auction. And once they buy it right, then we're going to teach them how to sell it. See, everybody can tell you about buying stuff. What we tell you about, we tell you how to sell stuff. If you can't sell stuff, 
you're going to sit on that house forever. So we're going to teach them to use Craigslist. We're going to teach them how, how to do these things online so that they can get in the sale. We use big, ugly signs. When you see our big, ugly signs, oh, my God, it looks awful. But all the people stop and they come and look at it. And so we teach them all that stuff. So we're teaching people. We don't want two, uh, two and five thousand dollar deal. We don't want any junkers. We want decent houses. Now, you're going to be amazed as we go through this video series and see some of the houses. I mean, a fifty thousand dollar house, if you could buy it for 10 cents on the dollar, you want in 10 cents on the dollar. That gives you a nice margin. You see, I got in the business because when I found out about tax certificates, I'm going to make money today. I don't have to buy an apartment house, fix it up, wait 10 years to get my money. I don't have to buy a, a rehab house, fix it up and do all that. I'm not putting any of that money up. I'm buying it and selling it. We buy low and we sell low. We've been doing that. This is our 30th year. Same exact business. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So my question for my customers is this. We're in COVID. Obviously, we're coming. We're, we're, we've been in COVID for over a year and a half now. How has COVID affected the tax lien and tax deed business? Okay. The economy isn't going to affect this business. COVID is not going to affect this business. So let me tell you why. We're not talking about bank foreclosures in markets that are going up and down like this. We're not talking about that. We're talking about people that haven't paid the tax. Now, people that abandon a property or don't pay it, the government has to do something. So they're going to they're going to take it to tax auction and get it back in the marketplace. But I'm going to show you people buying properties during COVID. This couple in in Wisconsin bought over in in uh, Michigan. OK, they bought in Michigan. They bought it from the tax collector. They spent eight thousand dollars. They spent four thousand tidying it up. Christmas holidays is when they did that. OK, that's right in the middle of COVID Christmas holidays last year. OK, they sold it during Christmas holidays. Within three weeks, they sold it and they're going to make a $40,000 profit. My name is Robert Hagan, but everybody calls me Sonny. And this is my wife, Marsha. In September of 2019, uh, we took the Ted Thomas classes. In November, we won the Fraser Street House. December, we accepted an offer already. January, we closed on it. It's, it's amazing about the signs. You know, we, we didn't even think anything about this sign stuff and it was brought to our attention by uh ted that you know this is this is a surefire way to get people's attention and he's absolutely right the lawyer cost us six hundred dollars to do the closing and set up the land contract that we sold it on so altogether uh eleven thousand five hundred and fifty seven dollars uh, almost twelve thousand uh, dollars. The purchase price turned out to be thirty-five. Oops, thirty-five thousand dollars with a profit of twenty-three thousand four hundred and forty-three. Once we plugged all this in, it came up with that his payments would be four hundred and eleven dollars total interest. Then the interest made on all the money that was in here, just the interest, it amounts to fifteen thousand nine hundred and ninety-five dollars and fifty-one cents. So that's just the interest. That's just profit. Basically, we hold the note on the on the property. We're the bank. It was twenty three thousand four hundred forty three dollars profit on the sale, and fifteen thousand nine hundred ninety five uh, dollars profit on the note. So all of our investment, which of course we've already gotten back, and the profit on the property, and the profit on the note. So the total. For just the profit part, not our investment, but the total profit part is $39,438. And I think for that $12,000, that's a pretty good deal. Everything can be done online. They could buy it online. They can sell it online. Now, I can't teach you to get rich by next Friday, so forget that. This is a process. You have to learn the process to do it. I can't get you done quickly, but it's a marathon. If you just run the marathon, well, there's a walk the damn thing. That's all you got to do. If you'll do that. We've been teaching people, my coaches, I don't have a coach that's under 60 years old, not under 60, and no one's been with me less than 15 years. 15 years. You imagine? So they're going to teach you the real stuff. My coaching team, if you added up all the properties they bought, they've done over 200 tax defaulted property. No one in the world can say that. No one in the world can say they've done 200 tax, unless it's the government themselves. These are real deal. They all got gray hair like I do. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. So another question is, is this client, this, this uh, homeowner has this beautiful property. Why would they not pay their property taxes? Okay, there's two or three reasons. Uh, there's, a, there's a dozen reasons. I don't know them all. First of all, um, people pass away. And they don't have any heirs. So no one pays the tax. All right, now that's going to happen every day. Nothing we can do about that. Secondly, I live in Florida, just to use an example. So this is a, you know, so people from Michigan, Ohio, Illinois, they come to Florida. They look at the price and say, wow, this is much cheaper than Ohio. So they buy a house. Well, when you buy a house or a property, you get an address on that. They're going to send the tax bill to that address unless you tell them otherwise. Sometimes these people don't even get the bill because they go home and leave their house empty all, went, all summer. So those houses actually go to auction. It's the same thing people in Florida, they go to Michigan, they want to buy on one of those lakes up there so they can go fishing, right? They want to go out there and do the fishing. Well, then in the wintertime, they forget it, so the houses go for auction. So there's a couple of reasons. Now, some people abandon properties. Some people just get old and they just don't pay the bills. Um, but they're giving so many notices. These people, they, they come out and they knock on the door and put a notice on your door. And the sheriff sometime will come and deliver the notice to try and get people not to lose out. But it's not that big. You see, in the United States, there's 1 million, excuse me, I said the wrong name. There's 100 million taxable properties. One to 2% go to tax audit. So you see, it's very small. One to 2%. But what if 100 of them happen to be in Gwinnett County and you happen to live in the county next door? Exactly. All right. So once you've got a list, you now can go and do it. Now, does the average guy know about this? No, nobody knows it. They don't know. They think they know it, but they don't. Ted, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. Guys, go ahead. Check out the next video. Make sure you go ahead. Watch out for the next email that's coming up with Ted, okay? Remember, the event happening November 6th starts at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern, okay? 11 a.m. So stay tuned, guys. Check out the next video. Folks, don't forget now, right below me, it's just a registration form. Say register so we know you're going to be there. I do this once a month. It starts at 11, finishes at 6. Now, it doesn't stop. It goes from 11 all the way through. So this is a real content-driven seminar. People have been coming to it for years. And you'll see the old guy. You'll see me right there doing it with you. So you're going to learn. If you like what you're seeing, you're, you're going to get a lot more of it. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Folks, I'm Ted, and I want to remind you that I said you could buy outside the United States. You're going to visit with Deborah right now. She lives in, in British Columbia. Now, that's a big province north of Seattle, okay? Now, it's a big province there. I taught her to do this online. Just listen to what she said. She's going to make a bundle of money. You don't want to miss this. My name's Deb Murphy, and I'm here in Kelowna, British Columbia. I had purchased my first property. I bought it for $24,000. It'll literally sell for, it'll sell for $70,000. I'll probably list it around 75, 76, and it'll, it'll sell. I did it all online, by phone and by um, computer. Ted's material showed me that I can depend on uh, the county records, what's online as far as property appraisers records, what's online as far as all the documentation uh, around a property that I could depend on knowing 75% of what's going on with that property without even stepping foot on it. So there's just so much more available online and that's why we can do it successfully now from Canada. Ted really fills out the full picture. He wants you to be successful.